All right. In this edition, we take a dip in Prince William Sound. Hobnob with politicians. <laughs> Who says a politician can't have his cake and eat it too? Do, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Cordova Iceworm Festival. Friday afternoon when I touch down in one of my favorite parts of Alaska. It's back to Cordova to help them celebrate one of the biggest events of the year. Oh, but it's not all fun and games. I'm also here to MC the Ice Worm Variety Show. This event is a great showcase for local talent and hopefully a charming host. Talent from all age groups and styles is represented. There's the glamorous crowning of Miss Iceworm, and a community brought together both physically and emotionally. And I'll go out on a limb and say we had a good time. And the great thing about a town like Cordova is when the night is over, everybody pitches in to help put the night to bed. And speaking of going to bed, when lights out rolls around, I notice something. It's starting to rain harder, and the winds are really starting to pick up. So I pull out my laptop and check the surface map. Now see where those lines are tightly packed together? That's where the winds are strongest. And Cordova, it's right about here. It's going to get interesting tomorrow. Sun rises on parade day, and I have a feeling it's going to more than just rain on it. But Cordova is a maritime community. They can take it. And as a former seafood processor myself, so can I. <laughs> wow. This is why God made rain jackets. Plus, compared to the people we're about to watch, we've got it pretty good. It's 10 a.m., and it's time for one of the premier events of the Cordova Iceworm Festival. One that must be viewed from the marina. With uh, four intrepid teams. I present to you the survival suit races. All right, any of them? Here they come. They're on their way. Survival suits are a must have on any fishing vessel. Yeah, the legend has survived at the survival suit preparation place. And getting one on quickly is a great skill that's harder than it looks. But that's just half the battle. All men on deck! All men on deck! In a real world scenario, you're not just putting these suits on, you're also getting a little wet. But doing it in style is always a good thing. The race ends when all are safe. The fastest time so far was has been put in by Rod Jensen, 153.02. Oh, we got oh, all right, style points. As the racers continue to raise the bar in the style department, we headed down to what, in my opinion, is the quintessential expression of Cordova style. The Cop River Fleece Company has really caught fire as of late. Their blend of fashion and function has been seen on such people as Senator Murkowski and Governor Palin. And by the end of the day, yours truly. There was a mandatory stop at the bookstore to peruse some artwork and get some coffee, and then it's time. And though the weather has changed from rain and wind to snow, do you think that slows down the people of Cordova? Absolutely not. The Cordova Iceworm Committee and parade organizers wish Only Chichacos and little wussy babies let a little snow get in their way. Even the young kids of Cordova say, it's time to party. And his frisbees. Then heads up. He's trying to get me to jump off the stage. I got myself a nice little piece of Cordova memorabilia. It's all mine. You can't have it. And just when I thought I'd seen everything... Happy ice for him, everyone. A man in a dress? Travel companion Jay noticed a float giving out cake. And as they say... Who says a politician can't have his cake and eat it too? too yeah. <laughs> Fairbanks representative Jay Ramrus says <laughs> he's a friend to all animals and now he's got the video to back it up but soon the biggest celebrity of the weekend is let's say waddling down Main Street 
the namesake of the 50th annual Cordova Iceworm Festival is putting the finishing touches of the parade in front of an enthusiastic community. As another edition of the Iceworm Parade is put into the history books, the locals gather for what else? Ice cream. And I opt for a walkabout. When I arrived, it was raining. And then last night it was rain and wind. And then this morning it was rain, snow and wind. And now it's snowing. And then I saw a 50-foot ice worm and a guy in a bikini. <laughs> now, if you don't like the weather in Prince William Sound, just wait five minutes. The blowing flagpole from this morning has given way to serenity. And the skies, well, they're beginning to open up. Which is divine timing in my book, because this evening's festivities are helped by clear skies. <laughs> wow. We were Woo! In time. wow. A fireworks display of epic proportions fills the skies, announcing the close of another successful ice worm. Three, four. In my opinion, Cordova has what every city in America longs for a sense of community, a sense of its own unique culture, all right. style points, and a style all its own. And the beauty speaks for itself. In our next edition, we do a little of this, a little of this. Oh, thank you. And a little of this at the Winter Lake Lot. <laughs> Release.